Okay, we're going to do workbook page 847. Okay, and that's 16-1, understanding perimeter. Okay, Troy made a drawing of his garden. This is his drawing of his garden right here. Each square in the grid below has a side length of one foot. So this is one foot, two feet, three feet. So this line right here is three feet. Find the distance around Troy's garden. Then use grid paper to draw a different garden shape that has the same distance around. Well, you don't have grid paper at home, so we're just gonna then draw. Okay, we're just gonna draw it down here. And we'll just write the number on it. Okay, so you need to figure out how far this is. So this is three. How many is this? Write that number here. Should be two. What about this guy? That's one. Okay, so now we've done three, two, one. What's this? One, two. Then we go one, two, three, four, five. Right, we count like this. One, two, three, four, five. This is two. This is one. Don't forget this, otherwise it's not enclosed and whatever's inside is just gonna come in and out. So this is, we need one foot here and then one, two, two feet, okay? Remember you're counting the side, so don't think that when you put this one here that you've counted that. This is one foot and that's one foot, which is why we go one, two, okay? And this, this two is for this side and this one is for right here, okay? So now you need to add up all of these. So pause it, add those all up. Okay, I'm coming up with 21. Five and five is 10. No, 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 I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I counted that three twice. Okay, three plus two is five, six, seven, eight. Eight plus five is 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Okay, so it should be 18 feet, okay? So now they want you to Make another shape, any shape you want, but the perimeter has to be 18 feet. So pause it and do that right here. Okay, so you should have drawn some sort of shape and this side plus this side plus this side plus this side has to equal 18 or you might have drawn, it could be any shape. It doesn't have to just be a rectangle. But all the, the all of the line that you drew, however you labeled it, if you said this is, you know, Three and three, something like that. But it, you, it, there's a hundred different ways this could be. But that, but this plus this plus this plus this, all your sides together have to equal eighteen. Okay, use words and numbers and symbols to explain how you found the diff distance around Troy's garden. Okay, so you would say, you know, I added three. I don't think I can get both of these in there. I'm gonna go around the top. I'm gonna to say I added three plus two plus one plus two plus five plus two plus one plus two. Okay, so you go ahead. I'm not. I'm gonna. You can pause it. I'm not gonna write that all out for you. You write down the numbers that you added and tell me that you added it together to find the perimeter. So go ahead and pause it. Do that and then restart it and join me on the back. Okay, Gus wants to put up a fence to make a dog park. He made two different designs. What is the perimeter, that means a distance all the way around the outside of each dog park. Which design should Gus use? Keep in mind, the perimeter of the dog park needs to be at least 30 feet, okay? So let's go up here and let's calculate this. This, this side right here is one, two, three, four, five, okay? This side is two. Okay, I want you to pause it and write the numbers, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's seven. One, two, three. That's three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And then this is one, two, three, four, five. Okay, now I want to show you something. This has a line over here and a line over here. The the two sides here are parallel, which means they're facing each other, okay? This side over here 
and this side over here have to be the same length from the top to the bottom, okay? Right, just like a rectangle, right? Okay, what we've done here is we've taken this half of the line right here and we've pushed it down, right? So this part right here, this part and this part, if you pushed this up, it would be this top one right here, okay? And same with this over here. If this line over here is five, okay, that's like this line. I wanted a different color than the purple, and that just really didn't do it. The orange, okay. This line over here, okay, is this line and this line, right? If you're looking at a rectangle, they're the two sides like that, and they need to be the same uh, length. So if this side is five, what we've done here is we've taken this half right here and pushed it in. See, this line right here, this is part of it, and instead of it going up two more to be five, one, two, three, four, five, instead of it going up here and connecting the line, we've just pushed it forward. And see, there's that part of that line. If we, if we pushed this back, it would line up and be just like a, a rectangle, okay? So three plus two has to be the same as five. So when I was doing this and I knew this was five and this was seven, I knew this was 12 because this line and this line, if we pushed this line up, it would be the same distance as this line down here, okay? I know it's tricky. We'll, we'll keep looking at it as we do more, okay? Um, so if we add up, Five plus five, that's 10. So I'm gonna write it up here. Five plus five plus two plus seven plus three plus 12. Okay, 12 plus three is 15. Okay, so we have five, 10 plus 15, that's 25 plus two and seven, okay? 25 plus two, well, two plus nine, two plus seven is nine. 25 plus nine is 34, okay? So this one is 34. So it, it meets that need to be 30 inches. So we can use this one. Let's take a look at this guy here. We got seven plus three is 10 plus six plus three plus nine, okay? So we know seven plus three is 10. We, we can do six plus um, three is nine and, and bring that nine. Nine plus nine is 18 plus 10, so it's 28. So can we use this one? It has to be at least 30 feet. We can't, because it's only 28. Oops, 28, okay? So we would have to use this one. Draw a different dog park that Gus could use. Find the perimeter of your design. So you're gonna pause it. You're gonna draw a dog park and um, you're gonna calculate how big the perimeter is, how long it is. Remember, you're just, you have, it's up to you. I mean, you just get to make up numbers. Just, you know, don't make a small line be 20 and, and a long line be three, you know, that's kind of silly. Okay, pause it and come back. Okay, what is the perimeter of the garden shown below? Okay. I want, you, I want you to try to add up, figure out what each one of these are. Don't forget this little one right here, okay? And then pause it and come back. Okay, so this is two. One, two, three. This one's three. This is one. One, two, three, three. One, two, three, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. I like those long ones. I feel like I have to count one, two, three, four, five, six, six. So now I'm going to add them all up. Okay. I have six plus three plus three plus one plus three plus two. Okay. So now you're going to add those all up and write what the uh, perimeter is. So you can pause it and do that. Okay, number two. In exercise one, do you know what the unit, which unit you should use for the perimeter? Huh, that's a tricky one. Okay, see if you can figure that out. 
Okay, number three, find the perimeter. Okay, I want you to find the perimeter of three and four. So I want you to pause it, find the perimeter of that, and then come back and check with me. Okay, it should be one, two, three, four, five. This is five. So we got five, one, 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 two, one, two, three, one, two, one, one. Okay, so now you need to add all of those up. Start here and go five plus one plus one plus two plus three plus two plus one plus one. Okay, and write that there. And then for number four, you can start right here and go, okay, nine plus eight plus eight plus 16, plus seven, okay? Nine, eight, eight, 16, seven. I always like to start in the corner and just trace it and write down my numbers as I'm tracing it so I know I'm not missing something because then I go, oh, wait a minute, I didn't write down a number for that little guy right there. I, I moved my pen, this was two. Somehow I got there, I need some fencing for that. Okay, so you're gonna add those up. Eight plus eight is 16. So you at least have 16 plus 16. Oh. And nine plus seven is also 16. So you could just do 16 plus 16 plus 16, or remember your multiplication, you could do 16 times three. Remember you multiply that, write the answer there, carry it, and then multiply it. So you multiply six times three, then you multiply three times one and add whatever you've carried there. Okay, you can pause it and figure those out if you haven't already, although you were supposed to have those done before coming back. Okay, find the perimeter of each polygon. Okay, you're gonna do this. So you're gonna start here and figure that. How much is that? How much is that? That, 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 and that. Till you come to your start point again. Write the numbers all around and add them up. Same with that, start here. Don't forget these little guys right here. They count, okay? Um, here, this is four. This one's four, six, 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 and eight. Here they want you to draw a figure that has a perimeter of 20 units, okay? So you have to draw it, but one side plus another side, however many sides you have, the line that you draw needs to be 20 units. And our little friend here is telling us there is way more than one answer, okay? Okay, if you wanna pause it, do the front, and then I'll explain the back to you, but. Nico. Let's make that like our Nico. Nico makes beaded necklaces in three different sizes. So he makes small and he uses 68 beads. If for a medium necklace, he uses 129 beads. For a large necklace, he makes 212, he uses 212 beads. So it makes sense, the bigger the necklace gets, the more beads we need. How many more beads does it take to make two medium necklaces so two medium compared to one large, okay? So I want you to figure out, well, if, if one medium takes 129 beads, you should be able to figure out how many beads two necklaces, two medium necklaces, and then one large is obviously 212. And they want to know how many more beads, how many more does it take to make two medium compared to one large. So you're gonna get your numbers and then you're gonna to have to subtract to find the difference to figure out how much more one has than the other. You're comparing those two numbers. Find a difference, make sure your biggest number goes on top, okay? Okay, Janny or Janie put the sticker on his notebook. What is the perimeter of the sticker? Okay, start in the corner and add up 11 plus six plus six plus 11 plus five. Okay, this one's tricky. Look, this one right here, we know this is six, that's 12, that's eight, that's six. This little guy right here is two, see that? Now this one, this part right here, they want us to figure it out. What is, what, what, how long this side is, okay? We need to go back to what I was showing you during um, the, instruction part of this, okay? Remember that if you have let's say this rectangle right here, okay? This is six. Well, okay. Don't look at that way. Can't do it that way. Okay, if this is 12, 
then what must this side be? Okay, what must this side be? This side must also be 12, okay? So this wall right here is the same as this one, and instead of going straight down, we've taken this half of the wall and pushed it out. So this plus this is the same as 12, okay? So if this is six, what must that be? This is 12. If this is 12, this is 12. Okay, so we know this is 12. We know this half the line is six. So this plus this must equal 12. So it must be six, okay? So then you're gonna add up six, six, two, six, eight, 12, and find the perimeter. All right, Jenny needs 425 cubes. So she needs a total of 425. There are 275 cubes in a large bag. There are 175 cubes in a small bag. Okay, so large is equal to 275. Small is equal to 175. Will one large bag and one small bag have enough cubes? So you're gonna have to add these together and figure out if a large and a small will be enough to have 425. The perimeter of this trapezoid is 40 inches, okay? So that means this plus this plus this plus this equals 40, okay? So we have seven plus eight plus question mark plus eight equals 40, okay? Now, this is not a rectangle. If if this is seven inches, this is not seven inches. That would only go from like here to here, okay? They're not, these are not the same length, right? So we can't use that. What we can do is let's add up these other three numbers that we have, okay? We have seven plus eight is 15, and 15 plus eight, let's just add that up over here, it's 23. So we have 23 plus whatever this side, this plus this plus this is 23. Okay, plus whatever that other one is. Is equal to 40, okay? So we need to know 23 plus how many more equals 40. Now we don't wanna guess and go 24, 25, 26, 20. I mean, that's gonna take us forever. So can we think about our fact family, okay? We have 23 plus some number equals 40. What's a good way to figure that out? This plus this equals 40. So therefore, 40 minus this equals that, right? Just like a fact family. If we can add them together, we can, we can subtract, right? We put the biggest number in the front, 40 minus 23 equals that number, right? I don't wanna to write too much, but 40 minus 23 equals question mark, right? And now we can subtract and find out what this missing one is. Remember, it should be a small number. It should not be bigger than 40 because this plus this plus this plus this equals 40. So 20. this is 23, eight plus seven is 15, plus eight more is 23. We need to add some number here. It's gonna be somewhere around 20, right? Because 20 plus 20 is 40 and we have 23. Um, so it's gonna be a little bit less than 20 because we have a little bit more than 20, all right? Mr. Karras needs to find the perimeter of the patio shown at the right. What is the perimeter of the patio and how can Mr. Karras find the perimeter? Well, I mean, okay, I've written all over this, but this is 14, this part is nine, this part right here is 14. It's a little bit of an angle and a corner, which is why it's two separate lines. 14, this part is 10, and this part is seven. So you're gonna need to add all those up and get your perimeter. All right, great job.